okay? But the steering wheel center, it is. I'm just, I'm going to drive right now because I'm having trouble with the shifters. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did starboard reverse. I'm doing port forward. And that's going to spin me around. We call this twin sticking. I'm using the two sticks, one forward, one reverse. And you can see how I'm coming around. Of course, I'm watching behind me too. And our depth gauge is now 2-3 to 3-1. So we're getting in deeper water. And I'll do my port in neutral. And see, I'm still making my turn. I'll do my port neutral, port forward, starboard neutral, starboard forward. Now drive with the steering wheel. Keep that homemade. No, we're okay. We don't need throttles. Keep that homemade piling on your port side, on your left side. Watch your depth gauge as you're doing all of that. Two five two six. Okay, straighten up. Go to the next piling. Straighten up to the right. To the other right. So this a starboard. Yep. Right and left are directions, port and starboard are nouns. Yes. Okay, with your binoculars, Melinda, can you see which piling is red? This one coming up is red, and we're 1.4 feet under keel. You want to look behind to see if we're blowing up any mud. A little bit of mud, not much. Okay, the wind is on our starboard side, so steer a little bit more to the right. Okay, Melinda, which piling is red up there? The one on the left. It's our okay. Port, yeah. So go between the two. So it's, it's a red piling and a green piling. Yeah. And these are not real channel markers by the Coast Guard or the Army Corps of Engineers. Can you feel the wind coming in the right-hand window? Yeah. Okay, so that wind is pushing us a little bit to the left. We can see we've got 2.6, 2.8, 3.1 under keel. Okay, steer right, steer right. The wind is pushing us. And this is Riverwatch Marina in Stewart, Florida. Steer more right, the wind is pushing us. I know this is your first time, so you can't feel it, but I can feel it. And that's why it's, well, it's not much current. There's a little bit, but not much. But the wind, I can feel it coming in the window. Okay. Now, which way do you go? To the port. Oh. Steer to the left a little bit. A little bit, not a lot, because the wind is going to help push us some. How deep's the water? 4.0. We're happy boys. 4.0. Okay, steer back to the right. Steer to the right. The wind is going to push us some more. More right, more right, more right. 3.5, more right, steer more right. You want to line up that red piling over there with the red piling behind us. Can you see the red piling behind us, Melinda? Yeah. So we're pretty much on the line. So steer more right, more right, steer more right, more right. And there's the bridge. We're going to go through that bridge. So if we were to go, we're not, but if we were to go to the left, look over there to the left. See that square green yes. on top of the square white? Yes. That's the Okeechobee Waterway. We're going to turn right on the Okeechobee Waterway, which is to the east. Okay, bring us around. Turn right. What's our depth gauge showing? 1.8 under keel. Keep going. Turn right. We don't have a choice. Turn right. More turn right. More right. More right. More right. Go under the bridge. 3.5. So we're in deep water again. <laughs> now that's 3.5 under the propellers and the boat's four feet draft. So that's seven and a half feet of water. Now aim for the middle of the bridge. See the wooden bumpers on the right and the left? Yeah. That shows you where the channel is. But while, straighten up the boat with the rudder. So while we're going through this bridge, look over to the left. See those small channel markers? Yeah. Small means secondary channel, large means primary channel. Okay, turn back to the right. You're having to learn how to feel the boat act and react to the wind. 
So how tall is this bridge? 60, 60, 65. Sounds like you're guessing. Uh, you get it's your 60. There? Well, wait. Well, say on the green. Side. Look at the ruler. See the ruler over there? Yeah. What's the ruler say? 50. That's on clearance to 50. Oh, uh, 55. Okay, we see the number 54 and we see a little bit below that. So it's 55 Five. feet air clearance. And of course that changes with the tide. So your clearance changes up and down with the tide. So gang, we're doing good. So what do you see straight ahead? A boat coming. And what do you see on the right hand and left hand side of that boat? Markers, yeah. What kind of markers? I need to know. Oh, well, red and green. Green, 25. Okay, and give me better information. The channel markers. On the right hand side, is a green square on a piling. Mm -hmm. And the left hand is a red buoy. And a red buoy that's floating. So that is where we want to go. Yeah. That is our channel. Straight okay, so we're doing good, doing good. What's our depth now? Six feet. Under keel, six feet under keel. So we're doing good, wonderful. You need those.